Hello there one and all, it's Connor and I am playing a game that is, well, it's not new, but it's very enjoyable and I've had it in my library, Steam library that is, for, well, it's a few years now, but I've never actually played it, I only started playing it yesterday and it's very enjoyable. So as a thanks to all my patrons on patreon.com, and link is below, I'm going to start playing games like this where I can change the name of characters and things and rename them to patrons just so you know I can give back a little bit so I have three patrons and they are Mr. Capellini, Bailey Cook and Bronson Salinger and what I am going to be doing is starting a new game right and the Kestrel it's a basic ship you start off with it and I have another ship where is it uh what's it called the uh ship itself I cannot see it here where's the name of the ship Connor let me see list Angie Cruiser, right, so that's pretty much the Engineering Races Cruiser. Let's get out of that. Right, so we're going to go with the basic Kestrel, and you know what? I have three little guys here. Garrick, who was uh, not named right at birth, and he is going to be called... Let me just see. Cap. Hello. Eni. There we go, number one. Number two. Not in, I'm not talking about like in Star Trek, where it's engaged, number one. Not yet, anyway. So, Bailey Cook. There we go. Mr. Cook. Thomas Cook. The travel agents. If you have no idea what that is, just Google it. And Mr. Branson. Salinger. Oh, Jesus, no. No, damn it, no. Why can't I put in two more letters? So, you know how we're going to do this here. What we're going to do here is B. Can't even put in a a freaking full stop. So let's go, Salinger. I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong here. There we go. Perfect. So there you go, guys. B. You know what? Actually, I just wanted to call it Salinger because I don't want to. You know, let's call him Bronson. There we go, Mr. Bronson. Bronson actually S. Oh, damn it, game! What are you doing? There we go, Mr. Bronson. And we're off on our adventures, so... Yes, I'm going to be playing on easy because I'm a noob. And I really don't want our little team here to die, so let's go. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Death. Remember, losing is part of the fun. No, I'm serious. Right, so here we are. Here's our little ship, and here's our Mr. Capellini, Mr. Bailey, and our Mr. Bronson. Now, what is each of them doing? So, Capellini, you're the pilot. Awesome. Uh, Bronson is on the weapons. Not really sure I trust you on the weapons, Mr. Bronson. Mr. Bronson, Solinger. And Cook, well, sorry, mate, but you're on the engines. You're the engineer. You're to keep this thing running. And, well, you'll have to probably run around the ship, put fires out, and help people, and beat the shit out of other alien races. So you're going to be the badass of the fleet, or the ship at least. Right, so what we do is we move from system to system. And I can pause the game like this during combat and things, but right now, we're just going to power up the weapons. And we have 30 scrap, that's what you use to buy upgrades, weapons, drones, new crew members and things. But you can get them as rewards for doing certain things throughout the game. And again, I am a noob at this game, I have only just picked it up yesterday, last night. Uh, I played it with my girlfriend, and she only watches live streams of the game, but she knows a hell of a lot more about it than I do. So you see, here's one of the little events here. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. That's a nice little rhyme there. Nice little slogan. Ignore them, not just go on to the next system. I ain't got no money for anything like that. So up here we have fuel. We have 14. You use one fuel per jump. Missiles, they're used for like projectile weaponry, but our lasers here, uh, they're fine, but the Artemis will use up a missile on our little drone parts, which we have to use if we want to deploy a drone. Yeah, jump into an unremarkable system, no life signs detected within range. Hmm, it's a bit dull. Oh, we got a distress signal. Engage number one. You follow the distress beacon into a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail to offer them assistance. They respond, help, our shields are down and we can't, or we won't last long. 
what do I feel like Mr. Capellini, Mr. Cook and Mr. Bronson would actually do here? You know, I have a feeling that you guys just said, don't risk the ship, piss off, I'm done with you guys, see you later, if you live. But you know what, let's try and shield them, let's see if they give us any nice rewards for being a nice guy. Well, you receive 4 hull damage, that's not too bad, but we get 12 scrap, so... Awesome. Let's jump on to the next system, is there any shops? Let's go up. Uh, let's go up here, yeah, let's go here. Right. So this will be an ongoing series, at least until we get to the end. And then, uh, depending on if, if I get any new patrons, we will do another series with different crew members and stuff. Just randomly chosen names of you individuals. And we might do XCOM as well in games like that. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. Um... Yeah, you guys are kind of heroes. Let's do that. Right. Let's engage our weapons. Put them on auto fire. So, we're going to use the burst laser here to destroy... Um... Uh, let's take down their shields and then fire uh, an Artemis missile at their weapon systems. Let's hope they don't miss. Come on, hurry up and fire. So we'll have to wait for them to charge up. You can see the little yellow bar here moving up. I think this, uh, also the resolution is 1280 by 720 so as HD as I can get it is 720p, unfortunately. Doesn't seem to allow me to put it in any higher resolution. Let's disable the Artemis here because we don't really want to use up all our missiles at the start. And we have defeated the pirates. Oh, where's the store? Right, so do we want to get a... What do we want? Now we do need some... Um, lifeform scanner? Detects the location of any lifeforms even when sensors don't function. No, we don't want that. Stealth weapons... Prevent your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. No, we don't even have cloak system yet. So that doesn't seem like a good idea. There are drones down here. I don't want any of them. Scramble enemy FTL computers. Doubling, and we don't want that yet either. So, uh, Hacking would be nice, but we don't have enough for it. Damn. I might consider just getting a new crew member. Uh, who do we want? Bumpy. He is an engineer. His race is called the NG. And he has repair speed is doubled, combat damage inflicted is halved, so he's really good at fixing things, not so much in a scrap. So let's get him. Now we have 14 scrap left, let's jump on to the next system. Engage number one. By the way, let me just see here. Uh, by the way, Bronson, you're uh, going to get all the praise for shooting the enemy and blowing them up, so let's engage and destroy their shields. And let's go. Now we need to make some upgrades after this, depending on how much scrap we get. Right, they're not ready to fire either. Let's put Mr. Angie in the shield room. Let's go, Mr. Angie. And I will save you all to your current positions. Come on. Yeah, awesome. The burst laser first there, actually. Oh no! Bronson, you took a hit. A big hit there from the missile, but you're alright. You're alright. You'll survive. Let's see what we get from these assholes. Um, meh. No, nothing decent. Let's go to the ship. And let's start buying some upgrades. Now, we need power. Power is important, so we're going to get a couple of power there. Well, we can only get one. Put one into the engines. Alright, so... There. Well, you see. Oh, okay. So we got power for everything now. Uh, stores there. Let's start making our way to the exit because you can see here the rebel scum is chasing us, and if they get close, they will destroy us. So let's keep making our way forward. Let's jump to here. See if there's any distress signals in the meantime. Hmm. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go unharmed. Draw straws and the frig that, none of you guys are being handed over. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Engage weaponry, Mr. Branson. 
take out their shield once more, and you know what, we'll leave the missiles for a bit. We don't really need one of them this early into the game. Fire! Their shields are down, Captain. Oh shit, uh, oxygen is down. Mr. Bumphy, get to the R2 room and fix the generator. This is quite fun, actually. Right, Mr. Bumphy. Back to your position, to the shields. Oh, they have offered to give us a guy. Uh... A Montes guy, they're really good at combat, they're really good. So, although they're slavers and we don't really appreciate them, let's get Mr. Mallet here and he can go into the sensors room and he will stay there for the remainder. Right, now let me see. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's jump here. Right, let's get to the exit. We're almost there anyway, so it's good. Uh, you received a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Let's play it to do what we can. We're nice guys. Thank you. If you can just give us a count on their numbers, perhaps we can get the rebel to help. Uh, uh, we got a quest marker. Awesome. A 26 screw up. So let's see what we can upgrade. Now, weapons are very important, and I only have two, and I would like to upgrade two, three. So let's upgrade that to one slot. And then we're going to have to get more power and stuff. But we will have to upgrade our engines to be able to dodge and have a higher evasion. It's all very, 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 very micromanagey. Uh, you find the Mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings. But unfortunately... There's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. You know, we have a blue option here, which means we're probably going to get something for it. So, yes, let's do this. Let's attack them. Burst laser fire out there. Where's the shield? Fire out their shield systems. Usually the Mantis ships will have a teleport, which will allow them to board your ship. That's not nice. So let's prepare to fire. We'll use the Artemis only when we have to, because we only have eight missiles. So the next time we get to a store, we're going to buy fuel and missiles. And we're not really going to use drones, so that's not very important. Mr. Bumphy, to the med to the med bay. Make all repairs you can. No, oh, no, Mr. Bumphy. Took a missile right in the face. The shields are down, Captain. Continue firing. They're dead. Yep, they're gone. It was only a scout, though. Right, we got something for that. That's not too bad. Um, we don't really have enough to go to the store, so let's just get to the exit and jump to the next system. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the, Feder the Federation sympathizer who opposed the rebels will be punished or whatever. You find a single store that responds to your heels. Don't open any wide bond channels. We'll sell to you, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Okay, thank you. I mean, uh, thank you for the trouble, but we don't have anything to give you. We only have 28 scrap here, and yeah, we don't have anything to sell either. So, you know what? Mind control would be nice. So, at cloaking, they're really expensive, as you can see. We only have drones. We don't have any weapons. So, uh, let's get some fuel. And repair a bit of the ship. Right, now that that's done. Uh, where are we here? Engage jump, Mr. Capellini. To next sector. Oh, so we can go to a rebel control system or a Mantis control system. Uh, Mantis tend to board your ships and I do not like that. It's a little bit too much to handle for me as a noob. So I'm going to go to the rebel control system where it's pretty much just ship battles. Which I much prefer, so... Our Federation forces were scattered, the rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between the tax collectors and the military bases, the rebel presence in this sector is high. Ugh. Right, so, you usually want to jump to the place that opens the most signal. So, I'm going to go to the bottom here and move along there and then head north to the escape route. You spotted... Oh, 
uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport gather, or rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand a surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They are trying to escape. Right. Mr. Branson, fire on their weapon systems. Or their, where is it? Fire on their engines so they cannot escape. Uh, Artemis, destroy those weapon systems. Engage. Oh, they've got a drone. It will just continually fire at my shields. Looks like a beam drone as well. Right. Burst laser is charging. Ah, oh, the missile missed. God damn it. Right, we'll try that again. Prepare to fire, Mr. Branson. All weapons. Oh shit, we have a fire. Get in there and extinguish that fire quick. We don't want to lose our oxygen supply. Yes. We're racking them. And they are racked. Mr. Bumpy. To the old tool room, whatever you call it. We need it calibrated and repaired. Right, so... Mr. Cook is now a formidable firefighter as well. You see, it's Mr. Cook here who's in the engine room. He's going to have to run about and do everything because... Well... Oh, we got a rock guy. How did we get that? I didn't even realize. Awesome, we got a rock guy. So these guys are incredibly good at putting out fires. And other such things, which is awesome. So, you know what? Lagardi. You get into the doors rooms. That shouldn't be too tough for you to handle, should it? Right, awesome. Now let's jump. Oh, there's a store there, but we haven't got anything to pair with. So let's move on. And actually, eh, we found an auto assault drone ship. A rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open communications, but realize the futility of that action when you see the ship is run by an AA. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. That is not going to happen. Again, Mr. Bronson, on their engines. And fire the Artemis at their weapon systems. Engage. Boom. Come on, fire. You know what, actually, screw that. I want it to fire whenever the shields are down. What was it going to be firing out again? Weapons. There we go. Engines are down. Enemy FTL delayed. Good. Good. All is going according to plan. And after this battle's over, we have a slightly important mission to give Mr. Bronson and Mr. Cook. Because they're a little bit low in health. Get to the med bay and repair it, both of you. And then... Get yourselves a little bit of health there. There we go, awesome. And everyone back to their stations. We are all good here. So, Mr. Bronson, his weapon skills are going up, as is his engineering. Mr. Cook, engines are going up. Mr. Capellini, his piloting skills are quite... Eh, they're, they're good now. They're going up as well. Bumpy, he is shit at everything. Mallet, well, he's not even good at combat. He's one of the Montes that were just shunned because he was crap. And Mr. Ligardi, he hasn't been here long enough to gain any skills. I suppose the Montes is the same. Oh, we got a distress call. We have to go to it and see what's going on. Right. Your cockpit lights up with the warning signals. You are being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress calls was a lure to attract unwitting ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. Why does that always happen in sci-fi shows and stuff? Put it a distress signal and then it turns out to be a trap. It's always a trap. Every single time it's a trap. Let's take down their weapon systems. Right. We're not really getting a lot of scrap here. Further on into the... Getting closer to our home system we will. Oh no, rock guy, repair that shit. Oh, they stunned us. Oh, I need to get Mr. Bumpy there to help repair the doors for some reason. The doors aren't really important. Seven missiles left. I really do want to save as many of those as possible. Mr. B uh, Ligardi, get in there. Get yourself healed up a little bit. And he's healed. Good job. Good stuff. Alright, let's fire the missile at the shields. And it's over. We got a nice bit of scrap. Let's see if we can upgrade the... Uh, yeah, we could use evasion here, so let's upgrade the... 
cockpit here so we can evade more effectively now we can evade a 20% jump um let's just make our way toward the exit doesn't seem to be much here in this system oh we have borders shit your senses warn of an incoming rebel ship at the same time as you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter you hear someone taunt within the ship ready to die i am ready to get a promotion where is he so they're here right so what we want to do here is open the airlocks right and get our little guy into the o2 room and bring mr mallet here who's awful good at melee combats into the room here it would be a good idea also to upgrade the doors at some point but that's not important at this present moment in time first lasers take out their weapons artemis take out their shields oh god they're being they're getting their asses kicked no 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 mr mallet no 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 mr mallet no you are too young to die keep firing on them they will pay for their transgressions against us. Engage weapon system, Mr. Branson. Oh shit. Close all doors. Close all doors. Get oxygen back going. Into the room. Come on. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how shit is done. Right, so oxygen is slowly flooding back into the rooms here, as you can see, with the light pinky beige color. Let's get Mr. Branson and Mr. Cook back into the med bed so they can get some health back. You did well. Mr. Branson, you punched the crap out of that guy. Right. Everyone back to their stations. Right, well, so that was a close call there. We lost quite a bit of health as well. Yeah, let's get to the exit here as quickly as possible. And unfortunately, we're going to have to enter a nebula. Uh, which, suffice to say, isn't good. You attacked a rebel automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. Attack the automated ship to get to the sensor station. Right. Burst laser, attack their shields. And Artemis, we only have six missiles left. Let's save those for a future time and battle. We would like to get an upgraded burst laser, but it is a, a burst laser too, which isn't too bad, I suppose. The more uh, upgraded the burst laser is, then the more damage they do. The more fire, the more shots they fire. Right. Come on. Yeah, they're going down. They're going to go down fast. We're taking minimal damage, but we don't have to worry. They'll be dead before we are. One more shot, and they are out. Awesome. Good firing, Mr. Brunson. You accessed the recent scans for the unguarded station. Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area. Good. Good. And what's this? Unvisited possible ship detected? Uh, you know what? Let's go to this bottom one. It's still relatively close. Another rebel drone ship. Damn it. Alright, engage. Destroy their sh shields. Shouldn't be too difficult. Mr. Cook is working on the engines. He's taking a little bit of damage, but we'll get him to the med bay in due time. Fuck it, let's fire an Artemis. Artemis on their weapon systems, Mr. Branson. Oh shit. Luckily, Lagardi is in the sensor rooms there, and he's a rock man, so I'm assuming that means he takes less damage, but I don't think that's actually the way it works. Mr. Bumpy, to the O2 room, put out the fire, and make sure it's repaired, otherwise we'll all die of suffocation. The enemy ship is space crap. Space crap? Sorry, space scrap. <laughs> Let's get everyone to the med bit. Good stuff. Hail yourselves up there. I'm really sad that we lost the Mantis guy. I am really, really distraught by that, actually. He would have been really good and... Oh, shit. We still haven't repaired the O2 room. What's going on there? I thought I did. 
and we're slowly losing oxygen, which isn't good. Right, so that's getting repaired and we're all done. Awesome. Good job, Mr. Bumpy. Jump to nearest. Now, nah, let's just avoid those. We don't really want to take any more damage as we have very little health here to begin with. Um, a heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Let's attempt to follow them. While searching fruitlessly through the nebula, you stumble, stumble upon a rebel ship which the Federation loyalists were likely hiding from. You prepare for a fight. Indeed we do. Take down their shields, Mr. Branson, and then their weapon systems. Mr. Cappellini, evade all enemy fire. Mr. Cook, make sure the engines are working, okay? That's your only job, and to put out fire, oh shit. That wasn't good, shields are down. We are losing power to the shields, shields are back up. Damn it! Screw the sensors, get in there and help him, Mr. Ligardi. Keep firing. Fire on them, no mercy. As a man near Nero once said, fire everything. Well, he wasn't really a man, he was a Romulan. They're trying to escape. No chance. You're going to die, my friend. And with that said, we can now upgrade our ship. Let's upgrade the shields. Except, and we need more power as well, actually. So there we go. Uh, let's put more power into the shields. Awesome. Right, so we do really need repairs. Let's get to the exit fast here and hope that in the next system we're able to repair our ship. I have been neglecting repairing the hull, so... Engage, Mr. Capellini. On to the next sector. Engage. Oh, where do we want to go here? Mantis Homeworlds. Let's go to the civilian sector. Let's play it, see if we do need to really repair our hull, so let's go.